at some Easter eggs. And of course, we had great weather, um, especially for candy, egg hunts, and things like that. So tell me, what will the rest of the week look like in for the kids out there? The next couple of days will be very similar. So even just getting the kids out the door for the school bus here in the morning and even Tuesday morning, we're going to be waking up in the 60s. Okay. Average high temperatures this time of year in the upper 60s. So take it. we are well above average to start off the week. In fact, we're going to be pretty close to tying some records here the next couple of afternoons. But you'll notice on your screen, we go from the 80s to the 30s. We're waking up to the 30s Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning. I'll talk about that here in a second. Right in between there, you have the opportunity for rain. A cold front's going to move through. And if you're tuning in for the first time, of course, issue that first alert for your Wednesday morning commute. We're watching Tuesday evening, and I'll show you why here in a second. But we could certainly see some rain, but also some storms possible in this time frame. Wind gusts going to be picking up. I know we've had elevated winds all weekend long, especially yesterday. That's going to be taking place again Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I want to show you the temperatures across the area just to show you that delineation between this cold air mass where temperatures are in the 30s and then where temperatures are still in the 70s. It's 73 degrees right now in San Antonio, Texas. Here's why. So you've got high pressure in this warm air mass here from the Carolinas and extending down towards the Gulf of Mexico in this front where we've actually had some strong and severe storms working along that just to the north of our area. This cold front that's still west of Texas, that's going to be the big change maker for us by the middle of the week. So let's time this out and I'll walk you through this day by day. Tomorrow morning waking up to the low 60s, easy going for that morning commute. You'll just notice more clouds than sunshine for most of your Monday. High temperatures back into those 80s. 84 is our forecast high temperature for Charlotte, but notice your high temperatures. 84 Tuesday and Wednesday. We hit 84 today, so we're going to be just a couple of degrees shy of that record of 86 degrees. And then we get towards the middle of the week and we start to see some of those changes all because of this cold front that's going to work through by the time we get towards the start of our Wednesday, bringing some showers and some storms. You may even see some snow flurries in the mountains by the time that we're ending out the week. But if for, before that, we are going to see the chance for some storms. Now, the highest severe risk on Tuesday, that's going to be Dora West, where they have a level three out of five risk. But we have a level one out of five risk for severe weather in our mountain communities. I think most of this holds off until late at night. But any of those storms that move into our area in the mountains late Tuesday night have that potential of becoming strong to severe. And then eventually that all moves eastward. So with time, there's that early Wednesday morning commute. And we're going to start to see some rain and storms very briefly impact the area, but enough that I just want to draw your attention to that with that first alert on your screen. And that's when everything starts to change. The winds will pick up and the temperatures will be dropping from the 80s to the 70s to the 60s. But look at those morning low temperatures back to the 30s, Friday, Saturday and Sunday mornings.